Hello everyone. In this video, we cover the lab of monitoring and login for the cloud function. So, let's start to solve it. Click on the start lab. It Now open the console quickly. Next password. So copy from this, go back here and just simply paste next. Understand? The next instructions here our lab is properly open now the task number one on the na navigation menu view all product and cloud run function so go here first agree the terms now from here all view all products in the bottom of the menu bar Click on it. Now from this, there is the function. Here, if you scroll down properly, slow by slow, then here serverless, and from this serverless, here is the cloud run function. So click on it. create a function click on it now go back the instructions so go to the console now function name so copy the function name from here hello world copy back here and Now region, so region select US East 1, US East 1, now trigger, so trigger type HTTP, so kept as it is, now authentication, so, so check here on, click on here allow unauthenticated, you know, and now just click on save now expand this runtime here click on it arrow on the arrow and now next connection and security so here you see maximum number of the instance so here just write 5 enter 5 sorry this is the maximum we maximum here minimum there so maximum 5 and here as it is 0 minimum 0 and maximum 5 now click on next now deploy go to the lab and check my progress so click on check my progress error no error has been so it's still running so that's why it's not show so wait for few minutes after uploading all the things properly show so here the green signal is show here hello world so i think now it show uh, so here we can successfully complete this task number one you also wait for few minutes after few minutes it show now next uh, 
in a cloud shell run the following get tools so first here go back to the console open the shell continue got it now go back copy this command go here before that we authorize the shell so scroll up and here active shell this active cloud shell so copy this first we do properly all the things so control v enter authorize these steps will not perform at the starting of the lab so now we perform it now second copy this and paste control v Enter. Now the shell is active properly. Now go to the task number two. And now, no, we are where we are here in the task number one stage. So after checking our progress, we copy this link. Copy. Go to the shell and paste. Control. Again, go back. Copy the next command. Go here and enter. So here is the trigger. So in this uh, upper page, click on trigger. from this trigger click on trigger url so here is here is the trigger url so copy this open the new tab and paste so here we see hello world now again go back what is the next instruction? So now copy this and back here and paste control. Enter. Running. So wait for a few minutes. We see what is the next instruction. So the task number two is in a console navigation mark uh, menu view all the products and observe observability and login then log explore. So one by one all the steps perform. So in the menu uh, scroll down and view all products. So we minimize this shell and now from this what is the next term observability so go here and this observability click on it now from this login and logs explore so login click on login so from this what is the next logs explore so this logs explore so 
go back and uh, from this cloud function cloud function from this cloud function select the hello world and apply now this in all logs name so click on it from this cloud function cloud function check on it uh, click on it and here is the apply it not show properly but here the apply button click on apply here it is run query so click on it run query then action drop down click on create matrix so here is the action so click on action and create matrix this Now change the type of the distribution so matrix type is distribution click on distribution now log based matrix name this here for this go back here and from this we copy the name so scroll down we are now here matrix name so copy this bold text copy go here and paste control v now fill the name so scroll down fill the name here for that select text payload this one first one now enter the following regular expression so this regular expression copy from here this so copy go back and paste now create matrix go to the lab and check my progress so click on check my progress so successfully we complete this task now task number 3 task number 3 create a monitoring matrix scope so click, go to the menu click on menu then all views product it this view all products now monitoring where it is from this now we see where it is monitoring first click on observability and from this monitor here it is click on it now go to the lab what is the next instruction from this click on here matrix explorer now 
select matrix and type here execution x now select this cloud function function from this function execution only this and apply now from here yz type so change this by this and scatter the bar chart click on it I go back here and here we complete the task number 3 or task number 4 create a charts on the monitoring viewing window so click on dashboard then create dashboard so go here click on dashboard create dashboard Now click on add widget and scatter the bar. So add widget, scatter the bar. Here it is. Click on it. Complete the task number four and task number five. List out two type of the log base. So these are the two log based matrix user defined a log based matrix and uh, system defined a log based matrix now from this row and row so here we complete our the lab now here we see 100 out of 100 we get now we stop the lab so end the lab and end lab thank you